Boom, we are live for the Apple Talk. That's just what it is right now. Well, man. how hey, y'all yo. doing? Yeah. We back here. Yeah. <laughs> it was hey, Denisha, you was great. This live podcast. That was from that live podcast. That was great. We really appreciate yes, it. Yes, we do appreciate you for coming once again. We are here with the very first live after talk for the Toxic and Fertile Podcast, exclusive here on YouTube. Exclusively here on YouTube. Yo, that yes. OCD shit, that was hilarious, yo. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> that shit there was like, yo, we got one. OCD. Hey, uh, she dropped the I bomb. Was that was like, boom. Like, I'm trying to tell you, like, I ain't gonna count. That was it right there. I ain't gonna count. <laughs> Since 2008. Since 2008, we've been rocking. So, like, dope. that's crazy. So, one of my one of my people, she's no longer with us. She died and everything. Like, one of my, matter of fact, the coach that I was talking about, I wasn't just gonna bring it up because, uh, but at the same time, some exclusive content for the after talk, right? So mm-hmm. like the coach that I was talking about on the live, like she was one of the ones, but she she passed away uh, a couple of years back now. But she might have been beginning of last year, yeah, or beginning of this year. I forgot, but yeah, but like it's been a year almost two now. Uh, but yeah, so like uh, she she bro, she was always she had me on point, dog. I'm not even gonna cap. Yeah. She used to, we used to be in, but and she she wasn't. So I had two hey big head people. Yeah, 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 I did. So she was absolutely another hey big head person. Uh, <laughs> but that's interesting. Like, how do you grieve with your side piece or with your OCD pass away? That's got to be a weird. That had to be tough. Yeah, bro. So I ain't even going to. It was crazy, bro. So I'm not even going to cap, bro. So I found out off of uh, Facebook. Um, Cause we hadn't been talking as much, right? You know what I'm saying? Cause that's just, you go in them intermittent portions where, you know, you might not be ch- chopping it up for a long time. I always talked on b- birthdays and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? But like, it might not be done going through certain, you know, for a certain amount of time. But yeah, it was crazy, bro. So like when she passed, I was like, nah, this can't be true. You know what I'm saying? And like, you know, talk to her sister about it after the fact, like her sister, I, her sister is how I found out. And then of course I went and did my digging. And I'm like, yeah, this is, you know what I'm saying? So, like, her sister was distraught. I mean, her sister's super tight. So, like, her sister was distraught. She was super tight. So, I'm like, yo, you know, let me know if you need anything, you know what I'm talking about, whatever the case might be. Because, like I said, it was so long of a period of time. It's like, bro, you know what I'm talking about? Even though you want the main dude or even, you know, she ain't kids and stuff. So, you know, none of the children father, none of this stuff. Y'all had a fun where... When we pull up and we put like, bro, I'm talking about a nigga ne- like never been on a date. Like strictly, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Strictly friends with benefits, but plenty, plenty laughing, joking, shit over the years, you know what I'm saying? Arguments all the time, you know what I'm saying? Enough to where we had arguments and type shit, you know what I'm saying? So like, yeah, bro, she was in mine, bro, from, from the age of 16, bro. Damn. 16 all the way up until Last year, that shit was crazy. Yeah, damn, bro, that'd be tough though. I ain't gonna lie, bro. Yep. That ain't gonna be tough. Uh, just, just even from a. We ain't standpoint. messed off in years, you know what I'm saying? But like uh-huh. I said, she was just one of those, one of those yeah. folks. But yeah, we didn't mess off for years. Like, shoot, at least six years before she passed. So like, at least six, maybe seven. But still yeah. though, like I haven't went through that. Anybody that I mess with, fortunately enough, all of them still alive or whatever. But I don't mm-hmm. even know how to even think somebody, you know, get to that point. I know we're getting older, so you know, people die, unfortunately, but I wouldn't even know how mm-hmm. to feel like fathom, like thought wise, somebody I uh, dealt it, with died. I was like, damn. Bro, it was it was really, really crazy, bro, because you it's misplaced grief, right? Because it's grief that first and foremost, especially if you're in a relationship, and I was in a relationship at the time. So, especially if you're in a relationship and you are like this person, this ain't the hey, big pretty person I was bringing up. You know what I'm saying? This ain't the one that I was mentioning on the live. This is a whole different one. So, I don't even need nobody to know about her because this is a whole, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, she didn't yeah, respect yeah. the boundaries and shit. You know what I'm talking about? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, like, I'm like, how do I even be like, I'm grieving because you don't want to be like my homegirl that, you know what I'm saying? Like, it was, nah, it was more than that. You know what I'm talking <laughs> yeah. about? But, so like it was kind of like you know that misplaced grief, you're in a relationship, you grieving over another woman. That, yeah, that shit ain't gonna be well placed. So yeah, yeah it was crazy, bro. But uh, yeah, yeah. So it was crazy, but like yeah. So uh, man, but uh, man, I miss her dearly, and I'm now I'm going back into the toxic inferno. Boy, she taught uh, me some shit. This was my number one coach, bro. She was yeah. my number. Speaking one of coach, coach, I got so, a text from a homie that said. Uh, 
she's willing to pay tribute this, to validate if you actually learned something or not. <laughs> oh. Hold on, what now? He said she's willing to pay tribute with her vagina to validate if you've actually learned how to give head better or not. Hold on, who is that who to is, me? Who, who is? Yeah, yeah, yeah like, who she posted that to? Uh, to Mr. Simple Man. Oh, oh. London! Hey. Right. Hey. Who is this? One of y'all homegirls, you said? A friend, a homegirl. Say less, say less. Hey, send we'll it, talk send that line. to DM. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, exactly. send, that, talk send that to his DM. Hey, I'm be single. Hey, so we'll talk offline. I got a couple of texts. Uh, not about just, you know, the yeah, guy. Yeah, no, I get what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get what you're saying. But Somebody hey, texted me and said that mental mental abuse should not be subjective. Because, you know, when we started talking. Yeah. I actually put that down on the list. They somebody wrote that on our on the live comments. I like, you know, that's a good one. I'm gonna put that on there for another. And we one definitely another. should unravel, unpack that one. Let's put that on the next week's I, show because a, yeah. mental abuse and the reason why we can talk, we can just talk about it just really quickly because we'll bring it up on an actual episode. The reason why I say it quickly is mental abuse is subjective because it's what affects you. It might not be delivered that way to affect you, though. You know what I mean? Like, yep. people have to control their own triggers. People yep. people say mental abuse. And I don't get me wrong. Like, it happens. I'm not saying it's not a real thing. But I think it's subjective in the fact that I could deliver something that I don't know nothing about your triggers, your traumas, or anything. And it recreates that for you. But, for, but in ahead, my go. opinion, if it's, if it's a one-off that's not abuse. Abuse to me is a pattern. When you've created a pattern outside of physical. Could be, yeah, go, go ahead. ahead. Yeah, because it could be a bad habit. So I was just about to get into the pattern mm -hmm. thing because like, let's just say men who use the word bitch, right? So like, we don't we don't really, I, me personally, I don't never call a woman a bitch to her face. Like, I don't even use it in arguments or none of this shit. Yeah. But yeah, I, mean, I yeah. use the term bitches all the fucking time though. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's one of those things, like, and it could be one of those things, because, like, me personally, I, and the reason why I use that example is because when I talk to women and when I get involved with women, I tell them straight up, don't call me no bitch and don't tell me you hate me. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm talking about? I, them the two words that, that we might need to bring that up as a topic, though. What are your, like, triggers? You know what I'm saying? Like, I know we've I'll talked about down. triggers on a prior episode, but, like, talking about, like, what a, the non-negotiable kind of thing. Yeah, that's a good way to put it. But, yeah, so, like, but I, but I, I do think it's a, it could be just something that's really, really a really bad habit that they're not doing. Let's just say if it's, um, uh, like I said, we'll all, well, we'll talk more. To be continued. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because that needs to be on a full episode. That's I the only reason I'm saying that. that. Yeah. That probably so, be like, a full like episode. Shit. I like that. But because I, I don't mind somebody saying like it shouldn't be subject. That's fine. But I'll tell you why I feel that it is it's, and should be. You know what I'm saying? I find it funny that you brought up using the word uh, bitch colloquially. Um, just using mm -hmm. it freely. I oh, yeah. almost, I'm not going to say I prefer it. Um, I'd rather hear that in passing than when people use female and they'll use man. They'll use man and female in a sentence and that just irks my nerves and I can't. What about, what's, the, what's the history with that or the origin of that? <laughs> because, you know, I'm big on words. I said I communicate a lot. I like right. to One write. of your love languages? Um, my love language is gifts, actually. So Christmas time is my bag. I fuck with, uh, fuck with Christmas. Uh, huh? Like uh, I love Christmas. I love giving <laughs> gifts. I listen to okay. people throughout the year, so I try to target exactly what they want without them necessarily telling me what they want. Yeah. Okay. Um, all right. All right. But yeah, to hear a person use the word man or guy, and then use female in the same sentence, is discordant. Is how I describe it. Oh, it's, instead of woman, yes, or or lady. Okay, yes, gotcha. Gotcha. it's like all right, all right. because you're humanizing one and you're dehumanizing the other. And I oh. think that is uh, oh, because mm. animals can be female. I get okay. what you're saying. Uh, yep, yep. I was about I to say it. how, I but then I get it. I, yeah, it had to like ding. You know what yeah. I mean? And so I, I feel like I never you're not thought about it. it until, Me yeah, neither. Okay. I never thought about yeah. that. I would have never thought about that. But to that point, that could be your. thing. You know what I'm saying? That right. could be your thing. And a person could be like, I'm being mental abuse because he always calling me a fucking female. You see what I'm saying? Like, to your yeah. point you just said is what I mean by that. I know that's like a very simple kind of example. I understand. But that's that, a good example. But, but, you, but you get what I'm saying? I'm though? Like, that's And that's what I mean by, like, it can be subjective on mental abuse because a motherfucker just, like, 
female is be- like you said, you might prefer a bitch, but I know, I know that bitch doesn't go over well with most women, yeah. right? So the majority is not in your favor in it, right? So yes. me, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a go to female. So like, not literally, but you know, in this bad in habit this scenario, thing, yeah, right. Yeah. I'm gonna go to female, but damn, she keeps telling me that's <laughs> her, that's her, her bad thing. But at the same time, though, I don't want to call you no bitch either. So shit, I'm just gonna go to female. You just gonna have to deal with. It. And like, see, it's- wrong. That's why communication is so important. If you if I communicate something and you keep doing it, then that's abuse. I don't yeah, think it's okay. abuse until oh, you're know. aware. When yeah, there's yeah, an awareness I there, I agree. When there's an awareness there, I mm-hmm. believe the same thing. That's when it, I uh, still uh, disagree. But uh, how do you disagree yeah. with that? Uh, like because, when it's aware. So so no, I, I I don't disagree with that part of it. And this has been. And I, I, I don't think I'm mentally abusive, but I may have been called into this before. But uh, <laughs> me too. I've been, I've been, I've been called that yeah, shit yeah, before yeah. too. Me but too. I'm huge. But I'm a huge communicator though, so mm-hmm. I, I, I'm cool with unpacking and unwrapping. But if we're in heated and de- heated arguments and heated discussions, most of the time the rules go out the window. I'm never spiteful and I'm never disrespectful, but I might be petty sometimes. You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So. It happens, you know what I'm talking about? So mm-hmm. that's where, you know what I'm talking about? Now, don't get me wrong. It's only when we hear some heated shit where I'm not going to go to the spiteful shit, even though that could be considered spiteful. So I'm not, I know that could be, but it's more petty for my aspect, right? Yep. You know what I'm talking about? Like, I'm not going to be on those spiteful shit. You know what I'm talking about? Like, you know what I mean? That's why your vagina smell. Being something. spiteful is being you know malicious. What I'm saying? Yeah, malicious, yeah. exactly. It's usually not going to be Yeah, that's what spiteful is. I'm not going to be malicious. Yeah, exactly. But I'd be so, petty like, but, because I do I, little shit. Little exactly. shit, like, I like I know if you unfollow me, but your friend do, and I'm around, <laughs> I'm gonna jump in the story so you can see me. Like, <laughs> that's, that's, yeah, petty. Really that's petty. That's like, petty. Yeah, like I really know that's your friend, so I'm gonna jump in the story, but I ain't gonna be malicious and start like talking we, crazy behind your back type shit. Yeah, that's malicious. So that's like, spiteful. That's kind of that's kind of where I, you know, you know, teeter totter around that shit. You know what I mean? So yeah yeah but uh yeah though no, so like yeah but yeah that's 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 got that's got to be on an episode because you know yeah, it's exclusive to youtube once again the live after talk for the talk yes, to the podcast we appreciate y'all joining here as well so yeah we don't yeah but uh we, we, we the topics go on and on people it does <laughs> it does man it does yeah. uh but yeah, we once again, as I said, we loved you here. You was great. You was great. We'll definitely yeah, bring you, you did back. Real, another good job. So yeah, so yeah. I think what we've been talking about doing is, and we'll I think I don't know if I brought this up on the live last week or not. It might have been on that after talk. Is having a panel where it's two v two, you and another lady, and y'all might not have to know each other or anything like that. But we might have some battle of the sexes type deals where the topics are geared towards. I probably go with my bag of simple mail shit at that point. Yeah. <laughs> I got a bunch of topics. So if you don't know me on Facebook, of course, it's Misha, which I know you don't. But my Mr. Simple Math comes from a hashtag Simple Math. And I, I have a Facebook following, so to speak, that follows my Simple Math. And there's a lot of controversial kind of topics and things of that nature for dialogue versus kind of, it pits the sexes against each other sometimes. Sometimes it's just a real dialogue, open, broad topic. Sometimes it's more based on what's happening in current events. Sometimes it's based on just some random thoughts in my head. But I use real life, like trigger words and wording. Like you said, you big on words. Mm-hmm. I do it on purpose, and they and I get them every fucking time. Every time. What the fuck you trying time. to say now? Every time. Nah. I well, got you. Well, I'm too well, well, for that. I got you. Let's do well, it. Well, let's talk about it. Exactly. So, like, what, what has happened, though, is it's kind of how we got onto this podcast for the most part. I was doing a bunch of my simple math shit and, like, getting people and, uh, you know, getting up to 30 and 50 and 70 comments, sometimes 100, yeah. over 100. Yeah, and uh, people were fucking with it, so I'm and just I would like, jump I, in those comments, <laughs> and that's yeah. kind of how the that's how the podcast start, started. Just give you a background how mm-hmm. it started. He was doing that. I jump in the comments and I say some crazy because I'm a crazy <laughs> nigga too. So I say some <laughs> outlandish. Y'all came to it, okay? Y'all came in Undertaker. Yeah, <laughs> what outlandish shit. And I already did do a podcast. I already do a sports podcast. So then I was like, man, it'd be great if London, because London was doing one beforehand, but he mm-hmm. stopped. So yeah, I was like, man, we dropped we, the ball. 
Yeah, so I was yeah. like, man, I already got the setup. So shit, nigga. And the I name. Just, oh, you had the name yeah. too, bro. I had the, the name, name too. Was so I just hit him. I just hit him with like, cause I didn't have his number at the time. I'm like, cause we went to high school together. We knew each other. He we used to ride to school together and everything. We just ain't That's talked shit. in a long time. And yep. shit, other than just on Facebook. So I was like, man, it'd be great if I could start the podcast and I tagged that nigga. And shit, <laughs> he, he was hit like, me. <laughs> Bam. And, this and bro, I'm glad she wrote. we did it, bro, because honestly, it was crazy. We we literally didn't have no like rehearsal. No, we was like, bro, yeah. let's just do we, we talked about a few topics and we was like, bro, let's just let's, let's just record and see how it go. Instant chemistry on that joint, bro. And like oh, it, bro, it, yeah. in the history. And now we got followers and people riding with us live. With 13, engagement. 14 episodes in now. So Yeah, so man, it's been dope, bro. It's been dope. But uh Denisha, <laughs> once again. Once again, uh, yeah, I need to talk to you offline anyway. But once yeah, again, yeah, we yeah, appreciate yeah, yeah. you. <laughs> is, she, is she in, uh, uh, what's the name? Where you from? Where you from? I'm from Zabuda. 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 Is that where she's from? U-B-U-T-A, Mississippi. Is she from Zabuda? She booty. Yeah, from Zabuda. She booty. She got that booty. On about that booty. Big old booty. <laughs> you feel me? Hey, that's a lit. I can't count. <laughs> but yeah, once again, we are here on the live after talk. It's just freestyle, y'all. We don't, we don't know this what the, ain't, ain't no, no pre preconceived topics or none of that. This Nothing. is just text messages. Yeah, I don't got shit up. Yeah, we really I almost wish we ain't got the independence topic to be in like a. You know, oh. dependent, dependent it, relationship. Yeah, so it's crazy. Him. We've done that twice now. That's two weeks in a row. We we, <laughs> we, we need to touch start on that. With that like, we got to yeah. start on that one next because week, y'all. And, and it's crazy because our last guest said the same exact thing. Miss yeah. Jessica Beasley. She said yeah. the same exact. I was ready. She said I had some shit for you for that. And oh, yeah. damn, now you're the second person. So we maybe they, maybe first. we maybe we save them two to bring them together for that. How about that? You know what? What are you doing next week? Can you jump on next week? Maybe we can go ahead and do the Battle of the Sexes next week. See, can we get Jessica back? Can we see if get Jessica back. I can do it. I'll be back. I'm going to Atlanta. I'll be in Atlanta next weekend for the oh, uh, swag championship I'm game. Here. I mean, I'm not for the swag a. championship for the uh, celebration ball. I'm here so, in Atlanta. Uh, that's, that's where I live where, That's where he is, so. Yeah. Jeez, yeah, that is, that is, I'll be yeah. at the celebration ball with my all corn shirt on because fuck Jackson State, but I oh, that's so. what you went you with the All Corn State. All Corn State. This is the cafeteria okay. in the background. All Corn State University. Hey. <laughs> that's what's All up. Right, that's what's up. Yeah. But yeah, yeah, so we'll try to set that up. I'll I'll reach out to us to kind of see if we can uh, coordinate that. And if it if it doesn't happen, it, you know, we'll we'll see if we can get it so we'll for another that, week. So we'll say that particular subject then for the. Y'all specifically brought it up on the then. after talk. Both of y'all I mean, specifically brought that up. So you know so, what? Like, I've been me... single for so long that all I know is hyper independent. So I think it would be great. Yeah. You know so what? yeah, you one of them ones. This is gonna yeah. be some smoke. Let's so I'm get looking it. at the smoke in the city. So I'm looking at the calendar. If we don't do it on the 19th, we ain't gonna be able to do it till the second for the new year. If I'm looking That'll at the calendar. Right. Show too. What you mean? Why you said it? Oh, because of the holidays. Because it's holiday. Christmas and New it's Year's Christmas, or weekends. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So yeah. If we don't do it next week. I think it'd be better if we bring in the, the holiday with the Battle of the Sex joint. Actually, so for the second, let's try to book you for the second. So Jessica in Memphis too, bro. So if we can get them both there for the live, nigga, the one we do for the holiday, that could be the, that could be the one. Let's do that. Have you talked to uh, your homie yet about the club? Uh, I'll talk to him, and if it's not there, we'll figure out that. Maybe we'll get an Airbnb or something. Hey, like, hey I'm down for that, man. Let's easy. try, yeah, let's try yeah. to do that. We got enough time. Let me see. Today, the 12th, you'll be there the 23rd. I, shit, I'll probably come in on the 23rd. If you go, if we can get I'm it be there, there on the 22nd. 20... So you'll like, be, on yeah, be there on the 23rd. Let's try to shoot for the 23rd. Let's shoot for the 23rd. For now. Let's shoot for the for 23rd. Now. And I'll check with Jessica. So if that works for her, and I'll check with Jessica. And let's try to shoot for the 23rd for that. That shindy, you know. Let's let's let's. And uh, I'm writing it down right now, so I'm gonna try to set that up. And yeah. if it doesn't work, you know what I'm saying. If, if things can't, but I think we can align that regardless with the podcast, even if it ain't the full on uh, shindy, and we can even invite, we can have a, a private party at Airbnb, bro. Yeah, I'm real. all down. I'm all down yeah. for that. Man. We could do that and try to get that uh going for that day. As I said, if we don't get it then, then definitely that'd be a great New Year's episode coming in on the second. Yep. So, if push come to shove and y'all just need somewhere to record it, you can come to the house. I got a house right here in Midtown. I got you. Okay, say less. That'll be, but we know we want not. We're not going to invade if we don't have to. Yeah. So that's yeah, great. Yeah, yeah. I appreciate that. Last, most last case. Yeah, yeah, most definitely. Yeah, we definitely. appreciate that. Definitely. Most definitely. But yeah, let's do, let's do that. All right. 
Yeah, this live album talk a great first one. Hey, too. this shit's great, man. Hey, this is a great <laughs> live album talk for the first yeah. one. I gotta think yeah. of what to call it. I don't know, man. Hey, after talk, live after talk. No, just the live after talk. You know, live after talk number yeah. one. There number it is. one. That's it. Yeah, just a live after talk, like the talking dead and goddamn what was the power joint <laughs> and all that other shit. Yeah, yeah just like how they do. I'm one of the Walking Dead cult members. Hey, by the I, way. I, I, I'm, I'm, a, I'm, a ins, I'm an insecure cult member, so they do. I'm an insecure, insecure in Game of Thrones. 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 Yeah. I watch them. Bunch of shows, shit. so we yeah, I yeah. watch Game of Thrones, yeah. my shit too. Yeah, but, yeah, uh, that yeah, was my bro. shit too. Just like how they all do right. it after after they shit, you know, after, yeah. after insecure, they threw on a whole the other ten minutes. Yeah, there you yep. go, the whole ten minutes afterwards. It's the toxic so like, tea. Toxic tea. Yep. Toxic, so toxic, toxic tea. The toxic, toxic tea. tea. Oh, this what this is. It's the that's toxic what, tea. That's what it's called. Toxic I tea. I gave y'all three on the night. Hold on, she dropping the rings. We're on a roll tonight. Talking to what was the other one? What was the oh. other one? Uh, customization. We, we talked about yep. it. Customization. We talked about OCD. OCD and toxic tea. tea. Yes. Let's do it. Nigga, we finna brand some shit. I already need there to brand simple mail. Everybody be telling me I need to go ahead. The toxic and tea. Mail. Let's I go. You that. I like yes, it. Yes, sir. Live so the, after talk, toxic tea. Yep. The toxic tea. All right, mm-hmm. then, with shit. Hey, man, for all the people that watch us, man, we appreciate that. Be on the lookout for the Toxic T exclusively on YouTube for the time being. All right, signing off, Mr. Simple Man. Sign- Thank you again, Denisha. Thank no you problem. again. Thanks for the invite. Denisha Thank from you. Shabuda. 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 <laughs> Is that what y'all did in all high right. school? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> dang, dang. <laughs> All right, man. Well, we that's out. the way we leave out of this bitch. <laughs> we are out of here. <laughs>